Hello friends, Big Stupid Grin here. We're back with Leo Anderson taking on the Winter Winds campaign. We're on Scenario 2, Stranded in the Urals. Before we talk about the story, let's go ahead and look at Leo Anderson. First of all, I think he might be the scariest looking of the investigators. Just look at that stare. Uh, I know this is an old meme, but I think that deserves a, uh, a looking at. Anyway, um, we had three XP, three victory points from the last scenario. So with Leo, pretty boring uh, selection, but pretty much, I wouldn't say have to, but yeah, we're taking charisma, obviously. We want allies. Charisma lets us play more allies, so not a big, uh, not a big decision point. We still have the Jewel of the Winter Wind from the last uh, scenario. Um, Pretty good with uh, dealing with treacheries and such. So we'll shuffle that in there and let's go ahead and um, take a look at the scenario card. Not too bad. Um, Chaos Bag is the same, so Chaos Bag, pretty simple at this point. Let's go ahead and draw our cards. Um, we got the jewel. That would be interesting. Not sure if we want it. See the crime we definitely want. Um, on the hunt is more something later or if we draw evidence. So I think I'm going to keep beat cop, I guess, in the jewel. See if we can draw like a weapon or something. I know uh, first scenario we just hard mulligan for... Um, Mitch Brown, but now that we have Charisma, it's not quite as important. In fact, oops, I accidentally uh, made the game think that we played Venture. I might actually keep Venture, I don't know. Eh, let's, let's pitch it. We got a flashlight and unexpected courage, so we are set up for some investigating at the very least. Um, Alright, let's go ahead and read the story. And we're at the uh, second page, stranded in the Urals. You walk through the deep snow along the tracks. Seeing the train behind you has become lodged, dislodged from the avalanche. You're not sure what those cultists were doing, but the mountain itself seemed to come alive at their mysterious chanting. There was no hope for following the tracks back the way you had come. The mysterious village your only real choice for the decent shelter in the growing twilight it was located a ways behind your current position, further down the mountainside. With the tracks buried in snow and rocks, you'll have to find another way down. Then, what's interesting with this scenario is that we start at one location and there's no other locations immediately. So that'll be interesting. Also, the act deck here. The train sits at rest on the tracks, half buried in snow, half resting normally. Crates from the cargo car are scattered about, perhaps holding useful items, should you decide to take the time to search them. Leading away from the wreck are multiple sets of footprints, heading deeper into the woods. As long as each investigator is at railside ridge, the investigators may choose to advance this act at any time. Agenda here is threshold 5, setting sun. Behind you is the train, half buried in snow. Ahead of you is the ridge line of this side of the Urals, dropping away into a deep wooded vale. The sun is setting, and you only have a few hours before you'll be plunged into total darkness. And then we start in the railside ridge. The ridge line snakes its way back and forth along the tracks, a steep drop on one side, a steep climb on the other. The only passable terrain nearby is a small path leading into the mountains down into a wooded vale. It has zero um, clues. You can use an action to investigate. If successful, instead of discovering clues, you may take control of one of, of one random set aside story asset. Uh, unfortunately, we're better at grabbing clues than just passing an investigate check since we're Leo. So I might actually advance the act deck sooner than later just because we don't really have much going for us here. 
But of course, um, we can just uh, get set up um, as best we can. We're going to play Beat Cop using Leo's ability. So it's reducing the cost by one. So it only cost us three, and it's also not our first action. So we're here. Um, we decided do we want the Jewel of the Winter Wind or the Flashlight, what's more important? Um, probably the Flashlight, because I don't... I have a way of getting a clue, but I don't have a way of sustainably getting clues. So I'm going to grab this as our first actual action. Um, and then I might take a couple of resources. Um, we, we're kind of set up. It'd be nice if we had a weapon, but at least we fight at a 5 with B-Cop, so at least we can um, deal with okay enemies. I haven't looked at the encounter deck. I'm trying to play this as blindly as I can. Um, so do we want to use Tempo to take a couple of resources, see what we get in our draw, kind of set up that way? Or do we want to just go really fast and uh, advance the act deck? I think now that I've uh, rambled about it. I'm just going to take two resources and then advance the act deck next turn. So, two resources there. Oh, rotten blood. Bottom blood. You must either discard an ally asset you control from play, or discard each ally asset from your hand. No assets are discarded by this effect. Shuffle uh, bottom blood back into your deck. So, there goes B cop, basically. That's too bad. But now we wonder if we need to draw some cards. Anyway, let's go ahead and I'm going to shuffle this up, add a Doom, and see what we get. Going Hungry. Add Going Hungry to your threat area. At the end of your turn, test fight 3. If you fail, take a direct damage. If you succeed by 2 or more, discard Going Hungry. Okay. Um, so now we need to, are we going to draw cards to try to get an ally out, or are we just going to move on? Um, I think I'm going to draw some cards, actually. So, oh my goodness. Okay, I'm going to use <laughs> my other two actions to get rid of Hypochondria. At least this way we know that uh, we have 27 good cards in the deck, and we can really get going as far as... Drawing cards and playing stuff, so. Obviously not an ideal action, but it is what it is. Now we are testing fight three, so we're plus one. That gets as far as here. Um, and the skull works. I could try to use unexpected courage and try to get rid of this thing. I think I'm going to do that. That would make me plus three and plus three... At least we're pretty good with passing it. Um, okay, we'll do plus three, I guess. And that is plus two, or minus two. So we passed, but we're not getting ready to go in hungry. So that's uh, not the best outcome, not the worst outcome, obviously. Go ahead and add a doom, draw a card. Lost Bearings. Test Investigate 5. If failed, add Lost Bearings to your threat area. You cannot leave your current location. The end of the round, discard. Okay. Well. Um, oh, good. So, plus 2. We pass this, and we get to look at the top 3. That's obviously drawing Elder Sun is great 99% of the time. But this was really nice. Let me sip some coffee and see if we can't get an ally here. Uh, no dice, unfortunately. Let's see if we shuffle. Yep. Alright, that's too bad. Let's draw some cards. Um, it's okay, but we don't even have allies out. Alright. Okay. Use three actions to draw three cards. Man, I'm uh, going at a glacial pace. So, 
uh, upkeep and lone wolf is nice. Okay, add a doom. We got a five. We forgot to test that. Whoops. And we would have failed that. And okay. So we just take dark damage. All right, my bad. Shifting Aora Peril you must either discard cards from your hand with at least two um, total book icons or lose an action, or you discard the top five cards of the deck. Uh, I'm going to drop evidence to that, I think. Alright, my turn. Play B Cop for free. I'm going to advance the act deck. As you remember, it was a choice this whole time. Place all the all set aside snowy woods, deep woods, and dark woods locations into play. Move all investigators to the vantage point location, then remove rail side ridge and any disaster locations from the game. You can only spend so much time at the train. And so you finally decide to turn and head into the Ural Wilderness. Okay, so all of this locations. Let's see. Snowy Woods. Deep Woods. And I take it Dark Woods. Yep. The Vantage Point. I think that's where we're going to move. Then this goes away. Okay, then what's our act? A light in the darkness. The woods of the Urals are dark and foreboding. Territory where men have not tread. An open wilderness of mystery and danger. You hear the howling of wolves in the distance. And know that if you want to reach the village safely, you had better make haste. When each surviving investigator enters the village outskirts, advance. Okay. We need we need these two. Okay. And vantage point. Small path leading away from the ridge looks down over the vale below. Deep dark woods cover the mountainside like a blanket. Navigating the forest will be difficult at night. Okay, it has three um, clues. Let's see. Grab one from here. Um, do some copy pasting here. Spend a clue, reveal one unrevealed snowy woods location. Okay. And these aren't connected to anything. So I'm just going to just leave them here in a stack. Hopefully that's okay. Um so, first action, B-Cup is not an action. I forgot. Hopefully, I didn't mess that up the first time I played B-Cup. Um, let's play Lone Wolf. And I'm going to play the Skull, actually. What's more important, the Skull or the Jewel? Um, probably the Skull, because it's free. So that's our last resource and two of our actions. I'm going to use the last action to um, use our flashlight. So we're three right now. And we reduce the shroud to a one. So three on one, we're plus two. Minus one, very good. There we go. All right, that's my turn. Let's go into upkeep. Another flashlight. I'd like to see a weapon, but something beggars, choosers. Add a doom. Oh, I gotta keep forgetting to test this. Minus two. I am a five, so it's just a, a um it's a pass, but we don't get rid of it. Fortunately that hasn't mattered too much the order. But anyway, let's draw an encounter. Herb chill. 
Test willpower for if you fail, choose and discard an asset you control. That's unfortunate. Yeah, we fail that. I'll get rid of this skull. I think that's the most expendable asset. But we get Lone Wolf Cash. Um, I think I want to spend the clue to reveal a uh, Snowy Woods. Yep. Um, get rid of that. Okay, that is first connected here. Yeah. Interesting, these things aren't snapping on. Ah, huh. odd. Need to move that clue down. Quit playing around with the cards. Um, looks like we got two clues there. So this location may be investigated with fight instead of investigate. When an investigator moves from this location, they must test fight four. If failed, that investigator takes one damage or cancelled or cancels the move. Okay. So I think we can use our flashlight on this, but still use fight. So I'm kind of motivated to do that, especially since it's a victory point. So let's do that. Move. Investigate. It's a shroud of three. And we have four plus B Cop, who suddenly turned into Milan for some reason. Um, five, so we're up by two. And we got that. Awesome. So that's our turn. Let's draw a card. Take the initiative, is nice. Uh, let's test this. Minus one. Again, we don't take the damage, but we don't get rid of it either. That uh, card's going to be annoying. We can't get a, uh, a lucky chaos pull. But, uh, this is going to have to roll over, unfortunately. The sun finally sinks fully below the line of the mountain of mountains to the west, bathing this side of the world in darkness. Despite the many stars and even a full moon, little light makes it down below the trees. The snow in the few open clearings you've come across glitters like diamonds, and the wind has seemed to fall away to a mere whisper. A distant howl is heard, answered by another in a fair bit closer. You know you'll have to hurry if you want to avoid these nocturnal predators. Remove the snow blind encounter set from the encounter deck and encounter set from the encounter deck and return and discards and return to the box. Then set aside the mysterious predator card out of play. Finally shuffle the dark forest and all remaining pursuit cards into the encounter deck. So we need to figure out what Snowblind cards look like. Um, it doesn't give me a symbol, which is going to make this difficult. Um, oh, maybe it's just the cards named Snowblind. All right, that makes sense then. So remove those. Next thing, set aside Mysterious Predator card out of play. I'm sure it's in here. Don't look at it. Finally, shuffle the Dark Forest and all remaining Pursuit cards in the encounter deck. Um, encounter deck set aside. Story asset. Okay, I think that's all. Unless this is a uh, counter card. Let's see. Nope, that is a weakness. Put this back in. We make sure anything else. I think we're good. Let me do this. Stocked in the night. 
As you make your way through the deep, pathless woods, you pause. Was that the sound of breathing you just heard? Were there footsteps mirroring your own in the darkness around you? Urged on by the eerie sounds and eerier stillness of the woods, you make haste. But the trees around you look oddly familiar. So this is the last agenda for the, um, for the scenario. So I wonder if the scenario ends, in which case I went way too slow. Um, but I think we did everything correctly. It's the main thing. I, want, I really want to stop making rules mistakes. Fighting breath. You must choose one. Either discards. Each player discards cards from hand with at least two total um, agility icons, or lose an action, or you lose two actions. Each player discards cards from hand with at least two total agility icons, or loses an action, you lose two actions. Huh, that's weird. Why wouldn't you just pick or loses one action? Hmm. I don't know. I guess I will just do the uh, take the top option and lose an action. Must choose one. Okay. I don't know. Let me know what I was supposed to do there. Um, but we lost some action. Um, grab a resource with Lone Wolf. Let's keep investigating. Um, is this a good opportunity for scene of the crime? I don't think so. Because we're still investigating at plus two. So we're going to do that instead. Okay, awesome. And then we will simply move. So we have to test, fight for, if failed, we will take a damage. Or cancel a move. So I'm plus one with B cup. Ooh. If you fail, move to a random connected location. Uh, we just have that. So we're going to take a damage though. Um, B cop can take a damage actually. Alright, that's our turn. We're going to look at going hungry here. Minus two. It's a tie, so we don't take damage. Let's draw a card, grab a resource. Uh, weapon is a uh, welcome site. And then we shall see what this encounter deck has for us. Lost bearings, um, test investigate five. If fail, you add lost bearings. Yep. So we could um, commit take the initiative and be plus one. I don't think that's good enough. So we're just going to let this happen, basically. And um, okay, we fail and we have to remove to a random connected location. So that's pretty bad. Unless um, we need to move. So we just need to put all of these locations in play. But they're not lo connected yet, so I, I guess it wouldn't matter. So we were here thanks to drawing the cultists, and uh, we're back here, unfortunately. And we can't move. Okay. Lone Wolf Cash, we're going to buy a um, 45 bottom Mac, and I'm going to buy another flashlight here. And then I will, so that's all of our resources, I'm going to draw a card. Okay, end of round. Get rid of this, test going hungry. So I want to, I could use Unexpected Courage to try to get rid of it. We have a pretty good anti-encounter card card anyway. So we would be seven against three. And a zero. Okay, so it's gone finally. Um draw a card, take a uh, resource. 
and then we will add two. Dark Force, test willpower for five, I'm sorry. If you fail, discard a card and move to a random deck location. That's fine, we just drew a lone wolf, which we don't need. So. All right, so we have to move to a random location. We only have one, um, and I think we have to test this. So we're plus one on that, and I think I'll just let that be. Uh, lost that, so we take a damage. Okay, get rid of that, and let's uh, spend a clue uh, after we get Lone Wolf Cash. Spend a clue to reveal another unrevealed uh, snowy um, location. Okay, spend two clues. Reveal one unrevealed deep woods location. And when we move, we're gonna have to test willpower four. Okay, so is this connected to here? It is not. I think we have to move. Right. Yeah. So I'll place it here, I guess. It's got two clues. Is kind of annoying because sure it doesn't. Yeah, so you have to move through here again. Um, but it is what it is. So we'll just use our last two turns to move here and then move here. We're gonna have to test um, fight four again. Oh, we passed thanks to Beacop. So. All right, we're now here, and we can um, proceed to the upkeep phase. Survival knife. Uh, if we had three hands, that would be awesome. Maybe I should have put Bandolier in here. I don't know. Let's grab a Doom, draw a card. Obscuring Fog, awesome. Attached location gets plus two shroud. Okay. Well, we've got to take initiative take the initiative for a reason. So let's um take one of cash. And then we're gonna investigate with flashlight. I'm going to play take the initiative. So we are a six against a three basically. It's the uh, obscuring fog and the flashlight cancel each other out, so we're up three. Okay, okay. that would have been semi devastating if we didn't pass that. So this goes away. We get the clue, and then our elder sign went off, so we get to search the top three. For an ally, we got none of those. Okay, so that was our first action. Second action, we're going to spend the two clues to reveal an unrevealed deep location. Right, deep. Deep woods, yep. Okay, deep woods. First time an investigator moves into Gaping Cave. Spawn the says I awakened bear at this location. And it's got um, two clues. Uh, do I even want to do that? This is a victory point. Um, where is Predator? Be metagaming if I looked. I mean, we've got a gun, but we've also got this mysterious predator to worry about, and I imagine we're about to get him. So, one more action. Let's just uh, grab another clue. Try to grab another clue. Flashlight. So, we're three against uh, one here. Ooh, auto fail. Okay. Never mind. Uh, upkeep. 
another gun, and this is going to roll over. You look about frantically, your body shivering from both the cold and the fear encroaching upon you. Excuse me, coffee. You hear a roar of unearthly baritone cut through the silent forest, freezing you in your tracks. If no investigator has mysterious predator in their threat area, if there are no investigators alone at the location, then flip this back to site 2A and add to doom to it. Otherwise, choose an investigator alone at a location. That investigator adds the mysterious predator. Flip this back to side 2A and add a doom to it. So we get to have the mysterious predator. Um, this gets a doom. Okay. So we get this guy. Let's see, this guy looks pretty bad. It's plus two investigator health. Do not remove tokens from Mysterious Predator when it is removed from play. If Mysterious Predator is unengaged, remove it from play. At the end of the enemy phase, if Mysterious Predator is out of play, remove the damage from it. Okay, this is when I wish I was Finn. That's okay. Um, my goodness. Eight health means we have to hit all four automatic shots on him. But, that's not all. Hunting the prey, each investigator alone. At a location, must choose one, either spend a clue or add a doom. Well, we aren't going to spend a clue, so another doom. This is um starting to look like defeated by damage, but... Let's see. Let's go ahead and fight this guy. Uh, take a lone wolf cash money. Start shooting. So we're four, we're five, we're six against five. Oof. Um, plus one's pretty bad, I think. Plus one wins. Let's see. Five, six, seven, eight. Eight out of um, eight out of fourteen. Which, um, it's actually not that bad. It's more than two thirds. If I uh, no, it's not. Well, we don't have a lot to discard anyway. So um, plus one, minus one. Plus one. That's no good. If you fail, move to a random connected location, which could be either of these. Okay. Let's roll a die. Take these spawn up here. Yep. So, one, two, three, four. Five, six. Over here now. Fire again. Okay. So we hit two out of three, which is not ideal. It's a look for an ally. And we're going to keep Venture. We're going to take two damage and two for now. And uh, we're at the upkeep phase. Okay. Guard dog. So we have, we have a decision. Guard dog or venture. Venture. Be nice with the gun. The, uh, we play it immediately. And. Um, Grab some ammo, but we need to deal with the uh, encounter deck. Slippery slow, <laughs> test agility, awesome. Agility er, er, X is a shroud of your equation. If you fail, lose an action. Move to a random 
second location. Three. Yeah, Leo does have a big weakness, and that's his agility. Um, I can be minus two instead of minus one, but that doesn't help at all. We need the uh, elder sign. We didn't get it. And we failed, we lost an action. So that's two actions gone. And a random connected location. Again, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, one, two puts me here. So we have one action. We can also uh, grab Lone Wolf Cash. I'm going to play Venture, um, which only costs three. Because we are Leo. Doesn't cost us an action either because we are Leo. Uh, we'll use it immediately to put some ammo. And I'm going to use that ammo immediately for plus one. Okay, well, that's cool. Look through the top three. Uh, get another guard dog. Maybe uh, in hindsight, I should have played the guard dog and let the um, let the predator kill it, but I don't know. Sure, it's gonna make no difference. Um, let's take our two damage into horror. Um, one and one and one and one. Okay, upkeep. Thompson. This shell is over again. Uh, we take damage in horror and we flip this back to side 2A. Okay, um, so we can either let one of these guys die. I think I still want to just take it myself. We kind of need these guys out. Unfor oh, I don't know, unfortunately or fortunately, let's draw on a counter card. Slippery slope. Um, yep, yeah, it's a fail. At least it's just an action we lose. Uh, again, one, two, three, four, five, six. Move here. Which is bad. Oh, we have to test. Oh, we also needed to spawn the set aside Waken Bear. That would have been last turn. Okay, let's fix this. Do not leave its current location. And after investigator discovers a clue, Freddy's engages the attacker. Okay, so last turn we would have been hit by the bear. Which means I guess Venture would have died. Yeah, I still need B-Cop to have a good enough um, fight score to uh, have a chance. And then we would have moved right now. Uh, so we're here. Don't know if I missed one of these willpower things for moving from Frozen Lake. Um, hopefully I didn't, but I might have. Either way, we are where we are. Um, take that lone wolf cash, play guard dog for two, and then we will start firing. Uh, we're plus one, we need to be higher than that. Get rid of five knife, be plus two. Minus four, no go, okay. Um, but again, without shooting, so we're Tied. I'm not sure if that's worth it, but um, I don't know if I can even afford playing the automatic from a uh, attack of opportunity point of view. Uh, we'd have to start doing damage to guard dog, which I guess is a good thing. Let me see. We're kind of just delaying the inevitable. We're definitely in an unwinning 
unwinnable uh, predicament here. Uh, my Mac is being weird. Yeah, these things don't snap into the slots as they usually do. Um, which sometimes is, that can be a bad thing. But anyway, uh, Guard Dog takes you get 2 damage. Uh, that means Predator takes damage because it's Guard Dog. Um, I have to take 2 Horror. It's the last turn. Hits us again. So Guard Dog's gonna die. And then Peacock has to die with horror. Um, so get rid of all of these things. Guard Dog will deal damage, so Predator will be um, will be defeated. Do not remove tokens from Mysterious Predator when it's removed from play. Okay. So I guess it goes in the discard pile. It's not. Let me resolve that in a second here. Okay. Let's get that. So he doesn't go with us, does he? Not leave yet. Yeah, doesn't go. With us. Okay. Uh, so that's our turn. Where does this guy go? Took it. Use unengage, remove it, from play. End of the enemy phase, if it is out of play, remove a damage from it. So, I think it's just dead. Yeah. I'll play it like that. I'll uh, review and see if that's what you're supposed to do or not. Um, we got an upkeep phase. And this goes to one. Let's see what our encounter is. Dark Forest. Test willpower five fail discard a card and move to a random a good location. Um get rid of physical training to be even, but that doesn't sound good. Problem is if we move here. Uh well we got plenty of shots for him, so. Okay, we'll just fail. Uh, that's a bad part about failing. Discard card. Give me a second. One, two, three, four, five, six. Move here. I have to test um, fight four. And we passed, so that's cool. Alright, Lone Wolf Cash. Play Guard Dog for two. Then let's um, grab a clue, I guess. Or plus two. Minus two. Didn't fail. So we got the clue off of this. That's good. Um. I think I want to um, I don't know, it's hard to move here. But we have to move here obviously. I don't have enough clues to do anything else. So um well we're not gonna move there obviously. Is this connected to it's not, so we're gonna have to move here. To test willpower four. Let's not do that, actually. So uh, that would uh, very bad if we failed. So I'm gonna play this instead. All right, upkeep. Draw card. Adventures definitely an ally. Grab a horror, right? Not a horror, a uh, a doom. Add one doom to the current agenda. Then spend a clue or test with our X. X is the number of doom on the current agenda if you fail to take two horror. 
Well, I can't afford to spend clues, so I'm going to have to test. We test, we're at Wolfpack 3, so we're plus 1. Fortunately, we got this out, so plus 2, plus 3. Plus 3 is good enough, probably. It is? Okay, great. Lone Wolf Cash. Play Venture right now if you want. Um, but we need to test our four to move, so we're gonna not play Venture and just do this. So, test four. Tide. This one. Maybe I should get the uh, jewel out sooner and later. Um, instead of that, let's play the jewel. And then we'll just take a couple of resources, I think, for the rest of our turn. We're gonna need uh, we're gonna need gas to try to get anywhere. So, oh, let's stretch and draw two cards for some reason. Oops. Grab resource. I almost have cards too. And this rolls over. Otherwise, um, yeah, flip this back. Oh. Choose an investigator alone at a location. That investigator adds the mysterious predator. Uh, I assume it comes back from the discard pile. It doesn't say search. It doesn't say a search like the encounter deck or the discard pile. Um, Yeah, I'm not sure. If there are no investigators alone at a location, then flip this back to side 2A and add 2 Okay, we can't do that. Otherwise, choose an investigator alone at a location that investigator adds the mysterious predator card to the correct area. Flip this card back to 2A and add a doom to it. Um, that's... I'm not sure what to do. Um, if we grab the predator, basically dead. Um, it doesn't say where to add it from, so yeah, I'm not sure. Um, Okay, so our options are obviously to dig through the discard pile and add it. Um, or ignore. I would think if we were to ignore we have tokens from Mysterious Predator. And the enemy phase So I I wonder if we should have had um, eight damage on it. Let's see. Not sure how many enemy phases we have left here. Um Not sure how many enemy phases we went through. That's the problem. I want to say it was like two. I assume it's um, removed from play. Let's say it's six. 
So I think we've gone two enemy phases without him. Or maybe it was just one. Because we lost both of our um, both of our allies to him. I would have just played guard dog. It's one. Not sure. So the way I think you're supposed to play this is you kill the predator. He goes out of play but keeps this on him. All of his damage tokens. Each enemy phase you remove a damage to it. And then when this goes over you have to add the predator to the uh, threat area. Then we have to flip this and add doom. That's how I think it's going to work. I might um, look this up after recording, and if that's not how you're supposed to play it, I might re-record this, or like I did with the previous campaign, if this is completely wrong, I'll have a redo video. Uh, maybe that's what I'll do, and uh, let me know if that was right or not. Um, so comments are going to be really nice for this, really helpful. Anyway, so we got that guy back on us. Exhaustion. Uh, test bite X. X is your current damage. Oh, Jesus. Uh, <laughs> test bite 7. There's no way. Uh, failed discard an item asset. Well, we got a spent flashlight, so that works. Alright, fighting this guy. Um... I think we pretty much want to use, um, actually, let's play Venture using our free action. And we would have gotten one little cash, so we should be down to two. Um, so let's start firing. Uh, this needs three resources. And we're just going to move a resource onto here. Exhausting him. Let's fire using our first action. We're five. Oof. Tide is never a good place to be. Oh, I have physical training. What am I talking about? Let's be plus two. Let's just fail. Okay, that happens. Um, let's fire again. At even. I almost feel like taking an attack of opportunity in order to just kill this guy off with guard dog. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much the only choice we have. Well, we could try to fight it even, but that just sounds like a terrible idea. Uh, we need to move somewhere with clues. So we have to go to vantage point, I think. Yeah, let's move. We have to test willpower four. If failed, it takes a four. What's the action? Um, I don't know. Maybe we should just fire it even and see if we get lucky. Nope. Alright, we get to attack. Um, our dog's going to take both damage in one of the horror, which will kill this guy off. And then uh, Venture needs to take a horror. We can't, we literally can't take any more damage or horror. Uh, both of those things would kill us. Uh, so that's dead. End of the enemy phase. It loses the damage. Um, so maybe we mess that up too. Um, right, let's do this. I do get an upkeep phase though. Alright, choose one. Discard cards from your hand. At least two total book icons or lose an action. Or discard the top five cards of your deck. Um... 
I'll lose an action, I guess. All right. Lone Wolf Cash. Now I can be comfortable moving uh, here. So bad. Um, dog's very dead. Uh, I'm plus one, plus two, plus three. Just to move. Zero. And then we have to move from here. So I'll just take a resource to get ready to do that next turn. Uh, we are SOL, but we're going to keep keep on charging forward. Might lose to decking ourselves even. Um, let's see. Exhaustion test. Yeah. Fight X seven. We don't even pass it with a um, elder sign. What can we discard? Ritual. What would we discard? I guess the jewel. Ish. But yeah, see, yeah. Okay, failed that. I guess the jewel. Okay. Lone Wolf Cash. Um, use that for Mitch, I think. Um, not a place we can get a resource. Um, let me see here. It's going to roll over next turn. We move here. and can see the prime at least with this guy. Um, so I might want to keep those resources. I'm going to need those resources to move anywhere with physical training, unfortunately. Um, so... Mitch Brown would be good to soak damage at the very least. So maybe we might need to have to do a prep turn and not move. Which would be terrible. Um, no, I think what I'll do, I'll play Mitch. That's two resources. I'm going to use Venture to move that over. And like that. Um, so we have no actions yet. Take two resources and try to move, I think. So take two resources, try to move, test fight four, some even, plus two, plus three, yeah, plus three. Okay, good. So you could stay there. Upkeep phase. Let me sip some coffee. Take the initiative is nice. That fl uh, flipping over isn't nice. Uh, we missed an end of enemy phase. Um, okay, so that flips over. This guy goes on us. And we'll go out and counter. You're alone. We must take, spend two clues or spend two horror. So we have to uh, take two horror, which means... Mitch Brown <laughs> dies immediately. Awesome. Yep. All right, we get Lone Wolf Cash. Um, the final ammo there. We would be even when we fire. So let's be a lot more than even. Oh no, we can play. Let's play scene of the crime first. So we can actually pretend that we can try to win this. Okay, now we'll fight. So our second turn, so this is only plus two, but I think that'll be okay. Let's see, we're four, we're um, five, six, seven, plus two. Okay, so Predator's dead again. 
and then we need to start moving. Now I don't know which location we need to be at to um, I don't know which location the village outskirts is, which really um, makes this hard. But I would imagine it's in the dark woods. Just thinking about the progression. So we'll move here. It's our last um, last action. So enemy phase goes down to seven. Upkeep. A survival knife. Could actually play that. I'm not sure if I want to or not. We'll figure that out later. Go ahead and add a tomb. Gaze in the north. You must either discard cards from hand with at least to four total willpower icons or lose a clue. You can't. We have no uh, willpower icons to um, do that with. I wonder if these do not flip over. So, let's see. Is that completely in the current agenda? So, yeah, I guess that would be the most accurate way of doing it. Um, let's take Lone Wolf Cash. And. We need to make some tests here. Get anywhere. Um, I don't know if I want to. Uh, I don't want to move here. So we'll have to go to the frozen lake. Okay. Let's fight for. We'll be plus two. Okay, that's good. And we'll spend two glues to spawn another uh, unrevealed deep location. All right, deep woods, yeah. Did I wonder if I knew what it's deep woods? Did I get this wrong? No, it's a deep woods location. Okay, I thought I might have accidentally spawned a dark woods location. All right, spawn that. Uh, we don't immediately reveal them, do we? No, we don't. No, no, we do. Reveal one under. Sorry, sheer cliff. We fail a test that this location takes two damage. Okay. So that's fun. That's where we're going to have to go eventually. Um, that was our second action. I need resources to do anything, so we'll take another resource as our last action. This loses a damage. Draw a card, grab a resource. Okay. And then this flips over, so we know what this does by now. To one, it's back on us. At least we, at least he's still one shot away from dying. So that's good. Scaring fog doesn't matter. Okay, let's shoot this guy. Or even. Um, lone wolf. So be plus two. Maybe plus three. That only, that only helps one token. So it'll be plus two. Actually, let's be plus three, then plus four. That'll help a couple tokens. Okay, that's dead. Again. Again, I'm very curious to see if I'm playing this right or not. Um, but we need to go here eventually. We need willpower to do so. So I'm going to have to take two... Uh, Two resources and end my turn. I feel like we're in uh, Groundhog's Day here. Decorated skull. Sons of the Beast out of doom to the current agenda. Have to do. Then test. Spend a clue or test will power X while we have to. 
um, that's full power x. So 4, 5, 6 against 3. And minus 2. So we don't, we don't just straight up die. Um, we're going to have to move here now. Wait, so when we leave, take two um, little of cash. Take two actions to gain resources, and then we'll try to move, I guess. Yeah, test um, power four. So even plus one plus two plus three. Yeah, so we get to move there. We fail to test location, we take two damage. Okay. Uh, enemy phase. It should be down to six, right? Because we killed it. It's the end of the enemy phase, so. Okay. Draw a card, get a resource. I think yeah, it should be been one, so now two. I think. Unless it's um cards that we got lately. I think this this flipped it over. This would have put it at two. So it should be at three now. Okay. Hungry wolves. Least remaining health. They deal any amount of damage to this enemy. Hungry wolves immediately. Disengages. Okay. My goodness, those stats. Well, let's do what we can do best here. Let's start fighting. We plus one. Plus two, I guess. Do I want to keep surviving there? Probably not. Um, well, it's more likely we play survival knife than like a second 45 Thompson, so do that. Plus two. Minus two. Okay. So it takes two damage and then it disengages and moves somewhere else. Um, I don't know if it matters. As long as we don't move here. Okay. And then we have to try to investigate this. Um, kind of just waiting to die in this um, scenario, but we'll still we'll keep playing. Uh, I think evidence is fine. Pitch for icons. I could just wait, take a bunch of resources, and then um, we're still going to need to find a clue here from investigating. I have two cards left, uh, which is bad. Let's just take resources. Um, do I want to spend get that out? No, I think I just want sheer resources here. This goes down to five. We have upkeep. We don't have a, a um another ally. We're gonna venture soon to getting decked, but um you know what this does now. And then discard hands, at least for a total. But, uh, fight icons, we have to do this. I'm not sure if we have four. One, two, three, four. Okay, we can. Um, get rid of all of these, silly. Um, gravity defying resources here. We play it, we discarded it. Alright. 
Well, all we can do is fight. Um, we need to hit this thing twice. Yeah. yeah. Get one lone wolf cash. We're not losing cash to lone wolf. Um, we fight it. We're even. We are, um, plus two. Minus two. Fight it again. Plus two. Okay. Instead again, and we get to play evidence. So we will get a clue off of this. This goes back over here. Last action. Um, grab a resource, I guess. And enemy fans. Upkeep. So we, that was the last card. I think we have to um, shuffle these back into the draw phase. We take a horror for that, which means the venture is going to die. Um, not sure if that's this turn or next turn. I honestly have never decked myself in this game without just dying immediately to be on the veil. So I'm not sure what rule that would be. Drawing cards, maybe? Let's take a look. Okay, if an investigator with an empty investigator deck needs to draw a card, that investigator shuffles his discard. Um, okay, so it's just going to be here still. So this is still in play. The horror on it. This needs to go here. Next turn, when we have to draw a card, we'll uh, do that. I do. Grip chill. Test will power four. Field, choosing discard an asset you control. Okay. That would be Lone Wolf. So I guess we'll try to fight this. E plus two. Okay. Um, I need to draw help. Yeah. To uh, try to grab the clue. Oh, we have seen the card. Oh, okay. We can just do that. So Lone Wolf Cash, I'm just going to, I'll drop the Skull, I guess, and then grab two resources. Really can't do anything else. That'll be my turn. End of the enemy phase. And upkeep, we have to draw now, so we do this. Venture takes a uh, horror. Make sure it's a horror and not a direct horror. No, it's just one. Right. Shuffle and draw. Flashlight, that's another good option too. Probably just play seeing the crime though. Um grab a resource. Yeah. Resource. Let's see what the old counter deck has for me. Crypt chill. Okay, that we can just get rid of this goal for. Oh. This would have gotten a charge, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would. We get a zero, so we get to keep it around at least. So that's cool. Uh, this is a action, though, so we're going to have to play Scene of the Crime first. Um, only cost one, because Lone Wolf gives me money. Okay. Let's get out of here. Um, this is located to this location, and this location, okay. So, Frozen Lake, and then we'll spend two clues. To reveal another Deep Woods location. That's the only one. Precarious path. Investigators can only move to Dark Woods location. There are no clues on Precarious path. After investigators fails a test at this location, that investigator must move to a random location. It has three clues on it. So, that was the rest of the Deep Woods locations, and we did not find what we wanted. 
the uh, village outskirts. That's unfortunate. And actually, no. Making sure that we didn't mess up the outskirts too. Those are just encounter cards. Either way, that's my turn. Um, is that three? Card gain resource. And let's look. Um, Trolls over. Test. Um, investigate five. Plus one isn't good enough. So we can't move from this location. That's fine. That's kind of what we would have done. We wouldn't have moved anyway. So we gotta hit this guy. We have one ammo. Okay. Hit this guy twice. Okay. This is the important one though. So I'm four, five, six, seven, eight. Damage again at a six, and that doesn't work. But again at minus one, uh, no go. Okay, the predator finally kills me. Let's go. Um, so I have a me uh, physical trauma. Mark that down. Uh, we spent our experience. And let's see what uh, resolution we get. Beat it. Running blindly from the creature, hunting you, you stumble and fall down the mountainside for what feels like hours. Finally, you come to rest along the base of a chain link fence. That investigator adds one copy of Beast Guard to their deck. Okay, let's find that. So, let's see how bad this is. Each time you engage with the Beast, or lost your enemy. Take a direct horror. Awesome. After you defeat a beast or monster, discard. That sucks. We only have six horror, or so. Um, add one skull to the chaos bag. Do this once only. So we're going to add a skull. And I'm going to throw it here, and then to remember, I'm also going to say campaign notes. The investigator has the Jewel of Winter Winds. Remove it. Jewel will stow. Stone, so... That. If at least one investigator resign, proceed to R1. If all investigators were defeated, proceed to R2. R2. Hey, you hear faintly. We've got a live one. Your eyes slowly open, your head pounding and your body aching. Lying in the snow, you see another person standing nearby, a lantern held high as they inspect you. Record in your campaign log that the investigators were saved by the survivors. We earn experience equal to victory X. Add a Elder Thing token to the Chaos Bag and proceed to interlude 1B. So I thought this was always just a squid token, but his official name is actually the um, Elder Thing. So uh, the more you know, I guess. Oh, add... And then we need to proceed to interlude 1B. The smell of a fire and the sound of hushed chatter rouse you from unconsciousness. You open your eyes and see that you're inside a small house. The windows long since broken out, the furniture and interior covered in snow and ice. Nearby is a small fire, and huddled around it are two individuals you vaguely remember seeing on the train. You're awake, one of them says. Don't move too suddenly. You're still recovering from that nasty stumble down the mountains. If an investigator was defeated while the jewel is under control, remove it. And add a cultist to the chaos bag. Okay. 
and that's it. So, again, I'm very curious to see if I played this correctly. I know I probably made some mistakes, definitely with the Predator. Uh, I don't think I messed up anything normally with the uh, normal rules, but it's very um, likely that we'll see a redo of this scenario if I messed up, especially with the Predator. Um, I don't know if it's supposed to be something that always comes back or not. Um, I could see how this scenario really wants more than one investigator. And so you can just stick together, although you have the random location thing. So that's kind of a check and balance. Um, but if I'm if I'm wrong and we were supposed to be without the predator all that time, then of course we'll try again. But I think that was a pretty bad um, scenario for Mr. Leo there. Anyway, we had a lot of high shroud locations. So anyway, I'm Big Stupid Grin. Uh, hope you enjoyed your time here, and until next time, have a good one.